experience with it, with the class, it was, it wasn't frustrating, it wasn't hard, it wasn't bad at all. The only thing I, I can say is, just pay attention and <laughs> it sounded cliche and uh, like beating a dead horse because Jason going to keep saying it and everybody else says that all the time but do projects because when you do projects it makes everything a whole lot easier I mean it's a lot it's a lot it's a um, the project really, it's like, it's like gradual steps to where you need to be. It starts you out real slow, and then the next project, it, it recaps the previous, like project one, I mean project two recaps project one, and then it touches on project two, and it makes you understand everything that you talked that day, and then project three does the same thing, and so on and so on. But when it comes to the jobs, the, the easiest part is going to the recruiter. The recruiter is going to ask you a whole bunch of questions, do you know this, do you know that? And you just say yeah or no. And then once you get to the interview, they try to act tough, though, but they really not. I mean, they try to look stern and this, that, and third, but as long as you know your stuff, man, you just want to speak with confidence and sit up straight and talk like you know what you're doing. Um, I told them I had six years of experience, uh, and they asked me, the hardest question I got was, uh, it had something to do with, uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I got the code. I had three total job offers. I mean, I passed well, my first three job offers or job uh, applications. I got callbacks, and I wasn't expected to be that fast. Uh, as soon as I put the application in, within I would say two hours of each one, I got a call from the recruiter, and they was asking me questions. The first one was why like, it was very intimidating because I didn't expect it to be there soon for them to call me. But when he called, I was outside and I was answering the questions and I was just smiling. <laughs> but the question he was asking me was a simple question. Do I know how to do audits and don't know how to work Red Hat Linux and things of that nature. And I was like, yes, sir, and this, that, and that, and uh, that's what basically all of them. They just asked simple questions. Do you know how to work? certain operating systems and can you work a uh, Oracle Enterprise Manager and can you do SOA? I don't know how to do SOA, but I just don't know, but I, I'm willing to learn. Um, yeah, I had three. <laughs> I had three job offers. Uh, the highest one was a uh, $63 dollars per hour. I think that's like $124,000 a year. I got a salary with salary offer for one seventeen and I got well, I got four job offers and I got two uh, offers for ninety like around ninety thousand. One was ninety eight and the other one was like ninety two. That's that was salary also. Uh, and I have no, I have no clearance. I don't have my, well, I actually uh, scheduled to take my, <clears throat> get my certification one day. But I'm not, I know I passed because I've been studying. And I mean, the thing, the thing that they can tell you, man, just pay attention to it. It's, it's real simple. It's simple once you get, it's like riding a bike. It's hard at first because you're going to keep off. Well, it's not like riding a bike. It's like learning Spanish. If anybody learn, know how to speak Spanish or any other language, once you start the, the process, it's very hard. Like, it's intimidating. And you're like, what in the world is he talking about? But at the end of the day, after the class, 
And once you start doing the habits, it's like, man, this is so easy, man. Things are just moving, and you like, wow. Like, my first three habits, I got done so fast. Like, you sent them Saturday night. And I literally, I was so excited I started working on them that same night because we was in class all day. So I just continued on while I was amped up and I was in the, in the class mode. So I started working on them that night and I finished the next day. But I didn't turn in until Wednesday because I didn't want him to think that I was trying to be a, a teacher's pet or something like that. I just waited until everybody else turned in, and which was like around noon and 30. But man, it's, it's so easy, man. Once you get it, get the hang of it, you love it. I love it. I text Jason all the time, telling him that I appreciate him and what he does, and man, he makes it so easy. Um, <laughs> I graduated it today, actually. <laughs> Just because uh, I didn't come last week, because I had an incident, a family incident, so I didn't come last week. So today is my actual graduation. I put my application in week six, and I spoke with the people who recruiters. I put my application in on a Tuesday, like Tuesday and Wednesday, and I spoke with the recruiters on Tuesday and Wednesday. I spoke with the news for the bottom week, which was last week, or the week before week seven. And then after my interviews, I was so excited. I didn't call them after the first two, but after the third one, I called them. They had two face to face. I went over the phone after that. I had one face to face, and then I had a phone, and then I had another face to face. And after that, I called Jason. Um, uh, yeah, man, that's basically it. Like, just pay attention. And just really say, what is we really going to get on the marriage, though? Like, if somebody don't know a question or know the answer to a question. And he started tapping on the, <laughs> tapping on the board. That was like the angry, most angry thing I've ever seen. Like my wife was sitting over here and she was <laughs> like, what is that tapping on? I said, that's him. Trying to make sure you know what you're talking about. But it, it works though because when he started raising his voice and that African start coming out. <laughs> and he started tapping on the board and I'm like, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> it's, it's funny. But it gets you to the point where you're not frustrated. Unless, like, if the interviewer asks you a question, it's just like, okay, yeah, this, yeah, that, yes, sir, you know, it just kind of natural. I don't know what you want me to say. Uh, I mean, that's basically it. Like, like I said, man, just do your projects and your projects. Like I said, I got done my projects on, on Sunday, <clears throat> but throughout the week, I would still touch on them. Just so I could make sure that I knew. Oh, yeah, one more thing I wouldn't say, and then that'd be it. Um, whenever he asks a question, answer it. Like, don't just sit there and get the answer in your head. Answer it out loud. Because it's okay to be wrong because he'll let you know, no, that's not right. You'd rather him tell you it's not right than you go to an interview and be like, okay, this, 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 and this not right. So. That would be my suggestion to you. Just pay attention to the public. That's the big one. Mm-hmm. I guess I just hang up. Yeah, that's good. <laughs>